Hi there, Jamie again, and today I wanted to make a quick video on uh, a bunch of um, a bunch of useful tips that you should consider when making multimodal experiences, or um, you know the Echo Show and the uh, the Echo Spot. You know, making like really really great interactive Alexa skills for demo purposes. This is all going to be demonstrated using the Berry Bash template, which I talked about in my last video. Long story short, it's just a very useful sample. That I created, which you can use to, you know, make amazing multimodal skills with quizzes and dictionaries and all that fun stuff. I'll, I'll link to it somehow um, in the video. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So number one, uh, it could be pretty obvious if you've already made a multimodal skill for Alexa, but um, you need to enable the render template directive under your skills interfaces. Otherwise, you'll just get, you know, an error response, which is of course what we don't want. How do you do that? You go to build um, for your skill, scroll down, you go to interfaces, and then display interface, turn it on, and then rebuild your interaction model. So number two, um, you should really try and make use of the different types of body templates and list templates available. Um, you know, if you just stick around with one, your skill is going to look very, you know, not generic, but maybe generic um, and some of the templates they, they they can be used for different purposes you know I believe, you know one of the lists is horizontal one of the lists is vertical um, there's one body template with a big image I think that's number seven there's body template with the image on the left image on the right you get the idea you, you can check it out all of it in the documentation but you can see here with the berry bash skill if I say open berry bash welcome to berry bash the tastiest stop for knowledge about berries around Simply ask me to provide information about berries from the berry book. However, if you are feeling lucky, ask for a quick game of berry buzz. So if I scroll down and show, I'll just show the, sh the echo show display for now. You can see here, I, I can't remember exactly, exactly which body template this is, but you've got, you know, text on the right, uh, image on the left. Let's say you want to play the game. Dun, dun, dun. Check out the big brains over here. Are you ready to begin? So this I know is using body template seven. You have like a little title. You have a nice big image. Um, if I go to uh, this. select or ask for a berry below for more information, we have a nice list uh, vertical. And yeah, if I then say, tell me about cranberries. Here is some information about cranberries. You can see here that, you know, we alternate between body templates and list templates and it kind of you know makes the skill a little bit more interactive a little bit more immersive engaging you know all of that stuff um so yeah you know make use of them they're all available check them out so number three uh do not forget that you know we have a screen but that screen is touchable uh it's interactive um and you know we are still voice first, so your skill has to be still, you know, traversed through using only your vo only your voice if it's the only thing available. If your hands are busy, whatever. But if your hands are free, you know, you should definitely allow that to be used by the user. So, for example, if I did this one over here, Alexa, open Berry Bash. Welcome to Berry Bash, the tastiest stop for knowledge about berries around. Simply ask me to provide information about berries from the berry book. However, if you are feeling lucky, ask for a quick game of berry buzz. So I can choose to use my voice to you know, navigate the skill, or I can use, you know, I can use the touch screen. So you can see here, I, I could have gone to berry buzz or the berry book with my voice, or I can literally just go like that. Select or ask for a berry below for more information. I can touch, you know, it was a list, so, you know, selectable, like, cranberries. Here is some information about cranberries. Yeah, so, you know, these two buttons over here, and the one I clicked before, the uh, berry book button, text button, those are called action text, and they are, yeah, they, they're kind of, they, you know, they're kind of like hyperlinks, I suppose. Um, yeah, you should make use of those, because, again, it, if there's something specific that... You know, could be selectable, or the user can learn more about. They can they can press those. So very very useful. Uh, last thing I'll quickly say is, even though we want to add more touch, don't forget that it's again still voice first. So if I wanted to, I could say Alexa, tell me about cranberries. 
Here is some information about cranberries. So I was able to navigate to the same item, but using my voice instead. That's, you know, if I'm cooking and my hands are dirty or whatever, not a problem. I can still do my thing. Okay, so I messed up. Number four was uh, actually this point to make selectable items um, selectable with your voice as well. So I already demonstrated the cranberries one, but let's say this one. Here is some information about cranberries. You can see here, um, we have back and we have read. So those are selectable, those are action text. So I can press those and navigate the skill. Or I could say, Alexa, read. Cranberries are low. Reaping shrubs or vines up to two meters long and five to 20 centimeters blah, blah, in height. Blah. So again, voice first, I was able to, you know, select something on the screen that was clearly selectable um with my voice i could have used my i could have used touch as well but in this in this scenario i use my voice okay so number five um you we have different devices uh with different not only screen sizes but uh you know screen screen shapes so we have the echo show here with a um a, a rectangle screen as as expected with most you know screens and then we have the echo spot <coughs> which is um you know circular so it's worth keeping in mind that not everything is going to look the same on each device what's really great about the render template is that it will try um to it will do most of the heavy lifting for you so you just input the data and then it will kind of print them you know as expected or the best way it can on each device but you already notice a few things here for example um the echo spot doesn't support background images so you can see here that it took a foreground image and made it the background over here which is you know very interesting um there's there's a bunch of differences so the main point is um test your skill on both screens you know we have the simulator in the um in the developer console use it test it make sure it all looks good i actually have another video that shows a bunch of the differences about how this stuff is rendered on each device which i will link to somehow uh yes um again keep it in mind different devices different screens different shapes test test test